Hi, and welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to show you a cool feature of the new Google Groups interface, and that's the collaborative inbox functionality. So when you go to create a new group, you'll enter in all this information, and then there'll be an option under group type for collaborative inbox. And so I've already created one of these called Chrome extension questions. So this operates kind of like a support ticket portal. Whenever we get a question from the Chrome extension, um, which you should install if you haven't already, it's going to come into this inbox and then it can be assigned or taken by anyone on the team who has access. So we haven't actually started using it yet fully, but I just posted a test message here to show you how this works. So you click here, go to actions, and you can click take, assign, or mark no action needed. So Let's say I want to assign this to somebody. I actually don't have any other members in here right now, so I'm just going to click assign it to myself. Or I can mark take, and that's how you would normally assign something to yourself. Now, marking no action needed brings up this little green text here that says no action needed, so no one needs to respond. So uh, this is something that you know, people have been asking for it for a long time. I think it's a great part of the new Google Groups update, and um, I think you'll find it very useful. So you can see, I actually already responded to this one, and then it showed up in my own inbox. A little weird because it's me asking the question and me responding, but you can see the original question is in here. How do I turn off conversation view in Gmail? And then my response is here and it showed up in my inbox as well. Let me know if you have any questions about this new feature and I um, hope you have a good opportunity to use it. Thanks.